Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a new intro to a new product pan and this project is going to be a collab with uh, Rebecca from Moribi and as you might know I have done one collab with her before with the, the no, makeup, no mirror <laughs> makeup challenge and I will have that linked in my description box if you haven't seen it. Uh, but yeah so Rebecca is a lovely person and she is actually one of my like first YouTube friends where we have uh, like regular contact on Instagram and yeah you know so she is uh, uh, a lovely person and we decided to do this uh, project pan together so it's our first project pan collab and uh, this is going to be roulette style so we have uh, um, 37 categories or I added one today after she filmed their video so now we have 38 <laughs> But yeah, so we have a spreadsheet on my computer that I have here to my right, so if I'm looking down that's uh, why. But yeah, so we have a spreadsheet with all the categories on and uh, I sort of just Google product pan uh, categories. So uh, we have a few from Meg's Makeup 8's her blog and then we also have uh, a few from Reddit uh, from the username Beautylit. We also have uh, from LS. Uh, you know shadow smoked here on YouTube from her blog and then I have one category that I think I've seen in one of LS uh, videos but I'm not completely sure so I, <laughs> I have written down can't remember but yeah so we have 38 categories and I'm just going to use random.org to uh, uh, with one uh, through 38 and then I'm going to pick that category and we are going to pick six products in this product pan so I am going to pick six categories and then I am going to pick uh, products for those six categories and then we will be working on those and today is the 23rd or when this goes up it's the 23rd of September and then this is going to run through to the 23rd of December I believe at least the end of December and we are going to do updates monthly so yeah let's just uh, jump into it if I can get my computer to work I'm just going to um, try and do that and then I will be back okay so it's working oh might be too too light is that better I don't know but uh, yeah so I have one through 38 here on random.org and the first one is number 10 and that is let me check that is a, a unique product okay uh, I'm just going to highlight this one so the first one was a unique product and now I am generating again and I got 24 and that is a product oh. <laughs> and 24 is a product you will always repurchase okay so I'm just going to highlight that one and then I'm going to go to random.org and the next product, the third product is number six and that is an old favorite, okay and the fourth uh, pro product is number 20 or category number 20 is a product you don't reach for enough okay, oh, so then the fifth product is going to be number 21 and that is uh, a sparkly product so I know Rebecca's got this as well because I have her categories here so <laughs> a sparkly product and then the last product is going to be number 19 so I got 19, 20 and 21 very random <laughs> okay so just to recap, we have an old favorite, a unique product, a product you've already hit pan on, a product you don't reach for enough, a sparkly product and a product you will always repurchase. So I'm just going to pick those out of my collection and then I will be right back. Okay, so for the category an old favorite, I picked the L'Oreal True Much uh, powder in, um, I don't know the shade, but it's a very pale shade and this is the powder I am currently working on and as you can see I already have a, already have a pan so I am uh, going to try and use this up 
before the end of this project and uh, this is actually the first powder that I ever bought so I remember using this when I was like in seventh grade or something so 10 years ago but I have repurchased it, repurchased it several times since then but I remember it being like my first ever powder and it's a favorite so uh, I'm going to use this one uh, for the category an old favorite and then for the next category, a unique product, I actually picked the uh, Becca Cosmetics um, Shimmering Skin Perfector pressed in Prismatic Amethyst because this is a... Um, this looks like this inside. It's a very pretty uh, pink uh, highlight. So it has uh, sort of like pink... Uh, reflex in it which which is very pretty and very unique for a highlight uh, because I have the um, I know they compared it like on Temptalia they compared it to the uh, shade Glitz from Makeup Geek which I am wearing today and I don't think they are similar at all because this one has very like pink uh, a very very strong pink reflect and the uh, Glitz from Makeup Geek doesn't have a reflect at all it's just a pale um, highlight and then I also have the um, Kat Von D Alchemist palette and that one also has a pink and that one is way way more pink than this one so I feel like this uh, is unique from the beginning because it's a unique uh, color or highlight but it's also unique when you compare it to other duochrome highlights because it's um, much prettier on the skin but yeah so I am going to try and hit pan on this one so that might take me a while but hopefully I will be able to do that before the end of this product and then for a product I have already hit pan on uh, which was category 19 I picked the Makeup Geek Beaches and Cream so as you can see sorry <laughs> have a swatch in on the inside of my hand but yeah so as you can see I have used quite a bit of it so I hope I can uh, use this one up and as you can see there is plenty of pan in it so yeah um, Makeup Geek Beaches and Cream for uh, a product you already hit pan on and then for a product you don't reach for enough I decided to go with my Lorac Pro uh, eyeshadow palette and basically there are tons and tons of products in my collection that I don't reach for enough uh, and also like with my eyeshadow palettes I rotate all the time so I always feel like I don't uh, use them enough but this is the first um, eyeshadow palette I bought that was like I think it might be the very first eyeshadow palette I bought but it's the Lorac Pro and if you are not familiar with how it looks it looks like this and uh, yeah it's just I want to get use out of this. I've seen so many people pan this on YouTube and stuff. So um, yeah, I just, as you can see, it's it's not new, but uh, if you've seen anyone pan the Lorac eyeshadow palettes, you know that you hit pan pretty quickly. And I have no pan at all in my Lorac um, palette. So the shade I have decided to uh, pull into this product is the shade called Mauve. And it's this. Uh, dusty purple shade right here and I am going to try and hit pan on that so hopefully I will do that pretty soon and then I will I forgot to mention that in the beginning but this is like a rolling product pan so if you think you like if you hit gold on one product you can you will pull in another one so hopefully this will be uh, this will have pan before the first update and then I can uh, like exchange it for a new product and then uh, for a sparkly product, which is product number five, this is a repeat from another product, so you will have seen this before. But this was in my product 10 pan, I started in January, and this is what it looks like. It's a, it's called the Isadora Twist Up uh, Metallic Pen in Gold and Cocky, and it's what I'm wearing on my uh, eyelids today, if you can see, it's very, if it wants to focus. You can see it's very sparkly like <laughs> on my eyelid but this is where uh, what I am wearing so it's a very sparkly product and um, I just want to use it up and I think if I focus on it I could use it up before the end of this product so 
yeah that would be cool and I really think that uh, Isadora should because this was in a pen form and then I accidentally broke the pen so I then it, the, so then I just twisted it all up and then departed it into this container and uh, I really think that Isadora should uh, do like pots of this thing instead of a pen they should do uh, a pot like this or a smaller pot but yeah they should do it in pot form and then the last product is a product you will always repurchase and that is my painterly paint pot and as you can see I departed this into a painterly container so I have repurchased it, repurchased it but yeah I use this as a eyeshadow base or like a eyeshadow primer every single day so my goal in this because days take forever to use up this I have quite a bit of a dip in it uh, but I have been working on it since uh, I believe January or February but yeah I want to uh, hit pan in this product and I think I am like no not really <laughs> but sort of sort of close so uh, hopefully I can hit pan in uh, three months Okay, so that was my six products. So recap, I want to finish the L'Oreal Too Much Powder. I want to hit pan on the Becca Amethyst. I also want to use up the Makeup Geek Beaches and Cream. Uh, I want to hit pan on my MAC Painterly Paint Pot in Painterly. Sorry, no, I said that twice. I want to hit pan in my MAC Paint Pot in Painterly. And then I also want to finish the Isadora Twist Up pen in uh, golden uh, khaki and then I want to hit pan on mauve in my Lorac Pro eyeshadow palette sorry accidentally hit the camera <laughs> but yeah so that was everything for my intro for this product please 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 go and uh, give Rebecca some love on her on her video and uh, tell her I sent you that will be super cool and uh, stay tuned for the second update of this product with project which will be the 23rd of October <laughs> I can't speak anymore so I'm just going to leave you there and I will see you in my next one bye